Now capoeira might look difficult, but with practice, it can become easy and everybody can do it. And the important thing is stability, being stable on two feet. So from here, you can move into any position you want. The first step in capoeira is the jinga, and it's the basis of all the other more complex moves. To do it, you take one large step to the side, then step back onto your other foot and transfer the weight forwards again. Your body swings with the movement, swinging back each time you step back, and forwards when you step forwards. Side, back, front, side, back, front. So it's a three-step, three-beat phrase. Your arms protect your chest and face. Keep it low. Just practice the jingle so I have a look. Okay, make sure you keep, keep an eye contact. That's it. And remember to remember the stance, stay this position. And the swing of the body, protect your side and your face as well. So micro up, up with the arms. That's better. And keep eye contact. Good. Good, Jenny. Nice. Now you use your body a bit more. See so if you can swing your body. Use your body a bit more, Jenny. That's it, good. That looks so serious, enjoy yourself. That's better. <laughs> good. So capoeira is a non-violent martial art form. And once you learn the basic, from there you can start to develop into other things. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. When you've got the hang of the jingle on your own, you can develop it with a partner, mirroring each other or taking it in turns to show off your tricks, like a low kick or a turn. Keep your jingas as large and as low as you can, maintaining eye contact with your partner. Remember, capoeira is a non-contact sport. It's all about showing off your skill. You can see the influence of capoeira on the work that Michael's created for Union Dance Company. But as a choreographer, he draws on other fighting styles as well. Tekken is a game that inspired me to um, actually create this piece because um, it's something that the company members play on tour. I like the way they move, the uh, computer animated uh, characters move and it's really inspired me to sort of think, oh this would be a good idea to incorporate this into a piece. Um, I've tried to capture the essence of Tekken in, in terms of the combat and the way they link, especially in the lifting section. And, and I've changed that into partnering, so that's like, instead of fighting them, I've actually used them as a support to make it more of a flow. The best thing for me is the way that you can just link different movements from different sources, like contemporary ballet, jazz, um, capoeira, martial arts, and just link them to make them into a unison, to a flowing um, piece of choreography.